Terry Kelly, your favorite health coach ever. I'm going to show you how I make a nice little high powered antioxidant. infused oil or a little tincture made out of some fresh picked rosemary. I have fresh picked thyme for my garden and I have oregano and then I have some garlic that I'd smashed up and I like to have it kind of smashed up for about 10 minutes before I use it because that really um, enhances the antibiotic uh, properties of the plant. So each one of these herbs are used in cooking and I'm going to make an oil based using a little avocado oil for one of them. Then I'm going to use some vodka for, for another that I could actually use medicinally. Uh, rosemary, thyme, and uh, oregano for the flavorings of different dishes and the garlic. It gives it an extra punch so I can totally use it in cooking for enhancing the flavor. Or I could rub it on my skin if I had some kind of issue where it looked like it was infected or yucky because all of these are uh, antiviral, antibacterial, antifungal. Um, they're just super good for healing any kind of issues. So why not uh, use them uh, for food and medicines? Well, let's get started. I am gonna stuff some rosemary in here. I'm just gonna stick it in my little jar like that. Then I'm gonna stick some oregano. Oregano and thyme are the, probably the highest most powerful antioxidants on the ORAC chart, by the way. Uh, that is right out of uh, God's garden. Um, the Bible says that the green leaves are for healing. And so that's what I'm gonna follow that direction. And I'm just gonna make something really good that I can use uh, for flavoring to keep my health optimal and to heal little uh, problems that might come up. I'm gonna put some garlic in there and it's just been crunched up. and. It's going to give it a lot of nice flavor. And then all I'm going to do is pour the oil in there. And so I'm going to let this sit for probably um, a couple of weeks, maybe. Let the uh, flavors infuse. I can put it in a sunny spot uh, for a couple of days. And at, when I feel like it's ready, I just keep smelling it. Then uh, I'll drain it, strain it. I'll, put it. I'll probably keep it in the refrigerator so I can use it in. And then I'm going to make one. With the, with the vodka. And then when I strain that after maybe six to eight weeks, I'll shake it and, and I, I usually kind of uh, bruise the herbs a little bit before I stick them in there. And uh, that helps it infuse better and you get all the medicinal properties right from nature, right from God's garden. And then you can use that when you need it or just when you want it, when you want to make something taste good. I hope this helps and I hope you guys uh, learn to make your own medicine from nature. All right, have a great day.